with uh, two lovely ladies. Uh, please, could you just put up your badge so we can see? So this is Sheena Crawford. Yes. And Marianne Brocklesby. Brocklesby. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, please introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Marianne, and this is my friend Sheena. Hello. Hello. And we work um, on citizen service engagement and the right to sanitation. Okay. In fact, fulfilling the rights as they are understood in the Millennium Development Goal. Okay. And sanitation is part of that. Okay. And um, we're here particularly to give a presentation at Do Rights Based Policies Enhance Orders Women's Leadership and Contribute to Sustainable Wash Outcomes. And the reason we're doing this <laughs> well, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, is because we've been doing a piece of work with DFID, that's mm -hmm. the UK Aid, and looking at whether formal recognition of the right to sanitation makes any difference or not. Or not. So and, we, and, and what would you say? Could, could you give us a... In a nutshell, yeah. I'd say that contrary to what we suspected, yes it does. It does make a difference. But only if there are certain other, what we call political drivers in place, mm -hmm. which support that formal recognition. And the most important one is how states relate to their citizens mm -hmm. and involve citizens in management of services. Yeah, so correct me if I'm wrong, but the whole, what I see is, you know, the, the right to water sanitation is uh, to give people kind of the power to, you know, hold their governments accountable. Uh, or how do you see it working? No, it's, that's part of it. Yeah. But it's also that the state willingly fulfills the obligations that it signed up to do so. That it's not just being coerced into doing so, mm -hmm. but it sees that there are benefits for the state mm -hmm. as well as for its citizens. And that it is more effective to involve them and to involve service providers in setting benchmarks, if you like, but in setting agreements which all of them feel is possible to meet. And there's another side to the right to sanitation, which has to be remembered, is um, we've all heard it a million times, cliche, but when there's rights, there's responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, what we have found is, as yet, there's very little done on identifying exactly what a right in practice, a right to sanitation in practice mm -hmm. will mean. People know what sanitation is, but they're unclear in countries as yet as to what it actually means to have a right. And mm -hmm. that's what we think the next phase of work will be, looking at how we set standards and uh, measures for seeing what fulfilment of that right will actually look like. Okay, sounds like uh, quite a job. <laughs> well, for example, if you look at education and you ask anybody, they'd say, that means my kids have a right to go to school. Yeah. They can't be stopped from going to school and they have the right to other educational opportunities mm -hmm. right up to university and beyond. Mm -hmm. And people could say that anywhere in the world and then they could say, but I don't have that or I do have that or it's not what I expected. If you ask people as we've done, what does a right to sanitation mean? They will say very different things to what state says, mm -hmm. to what the UN has stated is the right to sanitation, but also the state themselves will say very different things, whether it's the Ministry of Health or the Ministry of Water Engineering and Infrastructure mm -hmm. or Public Works, and service providers. You might have 20 service providers in one, one city and they may all say something different about what sanitation means, mm -hmm. let alone what a right to sanitation yeah. means. So it's not um, an academic exercise, it's actually a extremely practical. important yeah. because how do you know you're getting what you have a right to exactly. if you're not very sure. clear yeah. that anybody is signed up to a set of criteria that says that's what it means. A and very logical. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry ladies, yeah, we try to keep it brief here, yeah, uh, you. but uh, you can join and we do uh, another one uh, after your presentation. When is the presentation? Tomorrow afternoon. Oh, maybe see you tomorrow.